Thank you for your love Thank you for the heart There'll never be a long and lonely night again What is a A G Z Gang Now listen, 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 listen We got a tier list of the tier list what this tier list is is anime games from 2020 that released in 2020 to 2021 of of today so of the 9th of september 2021 every game that's come out since last year january of 2020 up to september 2021 or september the, the 9th of september 2021 is going to be on this list and we got quite a few games here some of the pictures are like the games twice so i'm going to be specifying what game i'm talking about every time we move on to a new one obviously so without further ado let's get straight into this first off we have lumian legacy now lumian legacy came out last year right when this game came out, I'm not gonna lie, I was I, I, I was kind of hyped for the game. When the game came out, you must you know I was on it. I was playing it. I played it, and the game. I, this has been a Roblox thing for a while. Games just releasing with no content. The game released with enough content to get your your main star to about level twenty before getting locked out of the uh, of the other zones because it just wasn't finished now Lu lumian legacy has a bunch of content a year later lumian legacy has a bunch of content but when lumian legacy originally came out it had no content you know what people were doing like all right so you could get up to about your lumian up to about level 20 without without like needing to cross into the zones where it just wasn't made yet right people really grinded the wild pokemon and the wild pokemon the area probably about level 15 13 14 ish people grinded wild pokemon and got the lumion to like level 60 slash level 70 within that first week before the like the first patch actually the first update actually happened do you know how much hours goes into grinding a weak wild pokemon you you barely get any exp for doing that even when you're the same level so imagine being 10 20 levels above the the wild pokemon and getting a t like a very small amount of exp every time you kill the pokemon that's crazy i don't know games need to stop like releasing when they have a very very small amount of content so I don't know if we're talking about 2020 Lumion Legacy, I would have put it at not bad, could have been better. But if we're talking about Lumion Legacy now as it is, it's genuinely a fun experience. Like if you enjoy Pokemon games, I, I say you get into Lumion Legacy. It's definitely, definitely up there on the list. It is a fun experience. I do recommend it. Next up, we have My Hero Mania. Now, this game, man, this game is basically um, anime warriors slash anime mania, but it's strictly my hero, like my hero academia characters. Um, if you enjoy the, the dungeon crawlers, then I mean, I guess, I guess the game is decent. Um, one thing I will give the game is the effects, like the move sets on, on like the quirks, quirks, whatever you want to call them. I call them quirks. I don't care what you call them. I actually pretty decent. You know, they actually look good. They're actually pretty cool. So I will put this on. <sighs> if we're talking my personal preference, right? I would put it at, oh, brother. But like, nah, we're gonna leave it. I'm gonna say not bad could have been better, but I hate, I hate like the dungeon crawler like category. We're gonna put out old oh, brother. Like, I guess you could play it to to pass by time, but you know, yeah, no. 
Next up, we do have All Star Tower Defense. Now, I did use I used to play this game a lot, um, and I don't know what happened. I just started getting bored of the game. Now the 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 got the gotcha element to the game where you like have to spin or roll a legendary character before blah 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 time, a specific time it's very addictive like i kind of feel like it's gambling is getting roblox kids ready for gambling <laughs> honestly is literally what it is um but the game within itself was actually not that bad like it is actually not that bad if you enjoy this time it's a good time consumer it's, it really is but i genuinely like no funny stuff genuinely started falling asleep at a certain point of playing this game like i would fall asleep i'm not joking i would dead ass fall asleep on my desk playing this game but it is a fun experience i do recommend trying the game out they have a bunch of characters and it's actually really satisfying getting what you want and then seeing them in action just progressing in the game is definitely a fun experience okay so next we have a little bit of bias anime <laughs> i said anime grand piece online gpo now where do i even start i'm not gonna make it long because we do have a bunch of other games to put into categories but grand piece online bro man this was a this was more than a fun it if if we're talking about everything that i've experienced in the game i want to put it up there with god tier gaming i definitely do and and i this is going to get so much hate every time i talk about gpo people want to slice my neck and i don't i don't get it oh you like gpo well congratulations it's just like every other band beater that's that's literally the general response but like it's crazy man GPO, GPO definitely has been in a drought. One thing I will say, right? GPO for the past six months has been nothing. Has been nothing. I'm so I'm so sorry. GPO the past six months has been one of the most boring games I've ever like. I dead ass. It pains me to press the play button right now. You know we're gonna be there for update four, of course, but. The past six months, this whole summer, like 2020 summer was 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 boring, right? But at least 2020 summer, we got some games that I will talk about later when we get to them. And Valorant came out. 2021 summer has been absolutely nothing. Like nothing because, yeah, and GPO not updating for five months didn't help. So we're going to put out fun experience. We can't say this is God tier gaming because it hasn't done anything god tier like at all like it's literally been a letdown for the part for almost half a year that's that's where if 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 gpo did his little dang this summer we would have i would have put out god tier experience god tier gaming but no gpo really sold the bag bro um if you yeah okay next next game zenkai origins Ooh, we dirty diggy Zenkai Origins. Okay. So, what I've experienced from Zenkai, right? And the devs are aware of the game and stuff like that. Like, they're not sleeping under a rock. They're going to address the issues with the game. But Zenkai Origins. Um, super 50 50 on this. I genuinely like this game genuinely right um the pve experience was pretty mid mediocre media mid i feel like a lot of roblox players get this word a lot of people in general get this word confused mid doesn't mean bad mid means mediocre can can we get that in everyone's heads mid doesn't mean bad mid means mediocre all right cool because people say mid for everything now and I think they think mid means bad. So just going to throw that one out there. Learn your terminologies. So PVE was super mid. Not going to lie. Leveling up. I didn't use times 2 EXP until I was about 
level 69 that was my first time actually using times 2 exp so all the leveling i did before that was was strictly just playing the game um no pun intended by the way but um man the pvp was really good in my opinion other than the key boss um key blast spammers and the hawkeye spammers the pvp is really satisfying in my opinion but if i have to put it i'll put it not bad could be better it could have been way better man the pvp is really up there i enjoy the pvp i genuinely like playing when i got to level 100 i'm at level 103 right now when i got to level 103 it didn't even let me pvp with the lower level players anymore see now if i had known that leveling up so i'm in a in a place in zenkai where it doesn't even make sense i'm not high enough level to get my transformation my second transformation so everybody that i fight is gonna have their second transformation and beat me up completely but i'm too low i'm too high to fight the lower level players that have the first transformation and i still have my first transformation so yeah zenkai origins just could have been better it, it definitely could have been better it's a it's a good game though it's genuinely a good game it's just there was a lot of flaws that really just didn't do it for me um troublesome battlegrounds grounds too oh brother bro i don't even need to say much for it oh brother um the game the game did i don't know if the game really got hype but the game like i, I feel like some people are looking forward to it. I definitely was looking forward to it. Uh, the ABA killer. That's what they called it at a specific um, point in time. I was strictly JoJo characters. And I was like, all right, cool, let's do it. I um, played it. I bought a couple game passes myself. So it's not like I haven't experienced the game properly. Um, I even bought some DLC characters. So, yeah, the game is, is definitely... I just feel like just, just yeah, it's just, oh, oh brother. That's just so. There's just no point. Like if if you want to play JoJo characters, just play ABA. I, I I'm just gonna say, just play ABA. The game looks good, but that's about it. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't lie to you. All right, so there's a double. So we're gonna skip over that. We're gonna go to Shindo Life now. Shindo Life, Shindo Life, Shindo Life, Shindo Life. Int. I have played the game. I don't know. Everyone says play Shindo Life. Play Shindo Life. Try out Shindo Life. If you actually like actually just scroll through videos, you'll see Shindo Live videos on my channel. So throw that one out there. So those of you guys telling me to play games that I have on my channel, tis 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 tis. Fake ADZ gang members. Anyways, I'm sorry. Um Shindo Life man. Shindo Life, when it first came out, was like the holy grail in my opinion. It came out I was I was invested in that game when it first came out. It was genuinely good. It had the battlegrounds mode. It had like Naruto characters that you could use to PvP. Um, it had the uh, arena mode. People would go in there, and this was like back when this is before the um, the the pain update, the pain the running gun update, before they added ranked, before the running gun and ranked update. This game was so fun go on public servers and try fight gins with with randoms and like when the gin dies you run to the scroll or like buying private servers and scrolling through getting gins and like i made some like i get pe random people from discord to help me get the gins and stuff and then this pvping before the overly broken abilities came into the game and just made it a ability spam fest Shindo life was good. It was fun. You did AFK farm a lot, like a lot, like my PC was on overnight a lot. But like the game actually was fun back then. And now the game is absolute dog poo. It is. I'm sorry. It's not a fun experience right now. It was a fun experience before the ranked update and before I'm um, running gone. When they added Ren and Gun, it wasn't that bad. But right after Ren and Gun update was the was the ranked update, and it just completely ruined it. And they removed the the um the other mode that allowed you to play with characters and shit. It yeah, it ruined it, man. It just ruined it. It just felt like everything I worked for, the grind, was just thrown out the window because it just became hack your way up to the highest rank, 
and and you're powerful and i don't have hacks i don't know how to hack i don't care for hacking and i don't want to learn how to do it so i was just one of those players where i couldn't even play the game anymore because everyone is and i'm not about to invest 30 hours of my life into fucking hitting logs okay real games jesus what a trash game all right cool so <laughs> the game's not trash i was just mad okay next game we have pirate lineage 2 i'm gonna put it i'm just gonna put it there pirate lineage 2 now this game man it has a bunch of potential like i said in my video if you watched it but first of all the the, the main the owner of the game has scammed multiple people out of robux um and it's just like is this lazy it's a poor effort so it's just like like they, they come on there's placeholders all over the main game like it's lazy it just doesn't have content you're grinding for no re like you're genuinely grinding for no reason i i know i played the game and i progressed a little bit even though i wiped um but you're genuinely grinding for no reason because there's no content to the game there's like no point like what are you actually grinding towards there's nothing in the game there's no incentive or anything it's just a game it's like me throwing you a game and you're just playing it for no reason like there's nothing to it at all um so yeah next game um so this is anime warriors but we're gonna use this one and we've already done all star tower defense so anime warriors wow now this this one is um uh, this one's a, a topic that i've already talked about multiple times so i'm gonna try to keep it short the game looks good imagine anime ma um my my hero mania but just better right the game looks good but the game had so many issues to the point where it wasn't even funny and the game shouldn't have existed when it existed or it shouldn't have came out when it came out bad marketing as i've already said so we're gonna put out old brother definitely bad and troublesome battlegrounds and um, my hero mania a big old brother though everything about the game was just wrong i'm just gonna throw that one out there next game a universal time now a universal time we're gonna put it at fun experience but it's gonna be low it's definitely lower than i i enjoyed lumion and all-star tile defense way more than aut aut i can jump in the game for about an hour or two and just like collect stuff like it's like you know how people collect things in real life the aut is just a collection game you just go in there to collect stands and you make multiple all accounts so you don't have to buy game passes that will end up disappearing by the way have they fixed that i have no idea thankfully none of that's happened to me but it's happened to so many people to the point where it should be a bigger issue than people say it is um if you like losing all your hard work there you go go play it <laughs> i'm joking i haven't lost anything again so i'm grateful for that but i know a lot of people that have lost the things they've grinded towards which can be discouraging which is a waste of time so all the people that have quit i can't blame you all the people that continue playing afterwards you're very 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 you got a really good mindset very good mindset but aut the pvp is really fun and that's about it like other than that you just run around the map and collect stuff that's genuinely the game there's no real incentive there's no story there's no plot there's there's nothing there's no actual content other than collecting stuff and fighting so that's aut um i i i'm actually just gonna put it at the top of not bad could be better like it really could be better like if there was genuine progression in the game like you have all these cool stands and all these cool abilities and specs that are actually really good like imagine if they added some sort of progression with a bigger map like the map just has three or four sections 
with with NPCs placed around them. That's what. That's lazy, in my opinion. The game. I don't know how long the game closed for. I never played the old version. I'm speaking for what I've experienced. The game just doesn't have anything like that's like wow, in my opinion. So it's definitely not bad. It could be better. It definitely could be better. It's not a bad game. I know a lot of people really enjoy it. So kudos to y'all boys. And I, I, I play the game too. I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying there's nothing to do in it. There's nothing to do in it. Like the shop has two items. So the money you're grinding for is basically worthless. Anyways, whatever, bro. Um, next game we have anime fighters. So, with Anime Fighters, this is a simulator game. If you enjoy simulator games, kudos to you, waste of time. It's just a waste of time. Simulator games have no real initiative to it. You just click, click stuff. Like, you genuinely either AFK, AFK, AFK click, set up macros and click, or just click, and, and you get, like, small rewards for clicking on your screen like it's not like you you just click this is literally the, the the only thing you do in the whole game yeah it's just a waste of time um if you really want something to con um to help pass by time you can play any of the other games already here i'm not gonna lie to you all right so next game is Slayers Unleashed. Oh, brother. Now I'm going to put it up here. We're going to put it just below Anime Warriors. This game, I have nothing to say about it. I genuinely have nothing to say about it. It's just... I wouldn't say it's a waste of time. Because there is progression. And I know they have updated the game and added other stuff to it. But it's just like... Why would I play this when I could play... The other Demon Slayer games that are going to be mentioned on the list, you know? Anyways, next game. Anime Dimension. Anime Dimension. Um, I'm going to put this on Old Brother, bro. I've never played Anime Dimension. I've watched people play it. So I'm going to put it right, right here. I've, from what I've seen people, you know, do in the game... I'm going to put it there. Um, anime, anime Dimensions is kind of a mix between a simulator and a dungeon crawler, in my opinion. Well, we could just put it dungeon crawler category. Um, yeah. Mm. Uh. Okay, so we've already done Anime Fighters and we've already done Shindo Life. Next is Demon Fall. Wow, we Demon Fall. Now, this is... This is this is not bad could be better it demon four could have been so great i was rooting for this game so hard y'all boys know this they the first week of this game was actually so fun and then they brought out the most meaningless update to ever hit roblox ever they increased the level cap and didn't add any form of content to accommodate for the level cap increase and then you know what else they did after that they gave players 10 extra health like what is the point like if 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 there's it like there's a problem like imagine there's an issue right let's say you you broke your arm right and you get to the hospital instead of them actually like giving you what you need to like actually like mend your arm they throw you a fucking cookie so here you go it's a good thing like they gave you a cookie it's like you can tell that it's out of like they're doing a good thing right but they're just like take the cookie that's what they did like what how does this is i understand it came from a good place but how does this help in any way shape or form you threw me a cookie i have a broken arm and you threw me a cookie that's basically what demon 4 did with, with the player base and the updates yeah and then 
they're like all right cool the pvp is really cool and unique but like everything's kind of broken like all the abilities are across the board wind is probably the most balanced one but all the abilities across the board are just broken like overpowered one shot the short the fights are really short instead of them to like like kind of balance and tweak the abilities they make even more overpowered abilities so now you have hybrid with moon breathing that one shot and you have over 250 health and then you have flame breathing not flame breathing sorry and then you have sun breathing that one shot it just doesn't make sense okay it doesn't make any sense all right so next game we have titan age we're going titan age we're gonna put this the lowest not bad could have been better now titan age man i i had hope for that i had a lot i mean the game is still fun like you can play this game and have fun right um but i'm just gonna say this and hopefully like people that are developing these type of games can hear can hear because there have been a bunch of good attack on titan games right a bunch of them like a lot of them but attack on titan has no longevity on the roblox platform every attack on titan game has lasted a few weeks if not a month before the player base starts to dwindle do you want to know why because attack on titan even if there's unique features like titan age has a bunch of unique and special features that none of the other attack on titan games have guess what though it's still the same game you have to swing around and attack titans and that's fun for a couple hours of a couple days and then is this is, is this like oh whatever like even you can add pvp whatever you want it's the same game it's, you just can't do anything with it you can't do anything with it i'm sorry next game we have is um freedom awaits and we're just gonna put it worse now freedom awaits had a really good um odm gear movement and it had pvp but i feel like it was less entertaining than titan age for a number of reasons but um yeah same thing i said for titan age it just the, there's no room for alt games on the roblox platform Westria. We'll put Westria. We're gonna put Westria below Shinder Life. Um, Westria. A lot of people did mindless grinding for this game. I grinded to get my flame breathing, and that's about it. When I found out that I had to drag a rock across the map um, over a hundred times, is when I called it quits. Like people really sat there and drag the boulder like the boulder you would attach it to yourself and drag it across the across the room or the area you were in like over a hundred times like that's a lot of times to do a very repetitive boring task and y'all boys did that yeah no that's terrible i'm so sorry vietnam peace waste of time saga piece um i'm gonna put it on old oh brother i'm gonna put it on old oh brother i love i love hey shout out to my boy ziki i love that boy i ain't gonna lie i fought i fought no homo i fought i fought with him super heavy fuck with him super heavy that's all i'm gonna say though. that game goes right there it stays right there <laughs> it stays right there and the last game on the list is um, Anime Mania. Mania Anime. Now, this game was a 
kind of like a is anime warriors son but anime warriors was like the son all right so anime mania is a is a rapper right but he didn't make it anime warriors is anime mania's son but he made it as a rapper but he got involved in a car crash and now he's in the hospital and they're waiting for his return okay so anime mania is the dad that wanted to be the son well okay anyways i you guys do you guys get what i was trying to say with that i'll put that old brother we're gonna put it i genuinely i played anime mania but i didn't enjoy the game at all i know a lot of people that did but the people that rid hard for anime mania don't even enjoy playing the game anymore so it's just kind of like you guys are riding the game for what because you don't even like it anymore um so yeah um that is the tier list there are no god tier games up there unfortunately <laughs> it's just the empty category um one thing i will say is there are games that are coming out that i do think will be on the god tier gaming list and we're gonna have an end of the year version too um what i think is gonna be on the god tier gaming list look look deep broken is gonna be right here and then hunter x hunter tales is gonna be right here and then anime legends is gonna be right here and hopefully we get a long list of other games that are coming out by before the end of this year on this list and i know there's quite a few games in development so i'll be waiting for y'all boys at the top of the table all the games coming out after this video was made i expect to be on the fun experience slash god tier gaming i don't want to see any more games y'all boys rememorize this pick what you see now if any of the new games that come out after this video are on on are, are not on fun experience or god tier gaming i'm gonna be very upset and i hope y'all boys are gonna be upset too because we deserve fun games to play okay we deserve it but i have i have hope i have hope i know i know there's a bunch of good games in development we just gotta wait for them to come out you know let's be patient boys we have made it this far if we've made it this far i feel like we can wait for anything anyways agz gang that's it for the video i hope y'all boys like the video if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button um if you're a real one and you made it this far like the button like hit the like button if you made it this far as well we need to make a little code for ourselves um what's the code let's say um Mm. let's let's put hashtag revolver effect in the in the in the comment section so i know you made it this far shout out to y'all boys i really appreciate everyone i appreciate my real adz gang members i love y'all boys to the fake to the fake fake adz gang members i don't i don't mess with y'all i don't mess with the fake ones but yeah Mwah. love y'all boys see you I'm the limit. Wait, they just told me I'm next. Niggas be hating, I have to invest in the vest. Sit on my neck, I'm blessed. None of my father be sticking, he sit on the left. No, I don't love no bucks. Don't cut that bitch, niggas know the rest. No, I don't love no what? Huh.